Hey folks, Dan for here with the rate update. What's going on with mortgage rates on January 8th, 2021? Come back, find out. Thanks for tuning in. So let's find out what mortgage rates are doing today with the economic calendars for the rest of the week and what the trends are on how maybe we can pinpoint exactly where rates are going and why. So let's get on to it. Right now, this is what's going on with the mortgage-backed security market. This is what we follow on this channel. As you, as you watch the channel more and more and more, you'll understand this number. But generically, this number is what's happening to the price of the mortgage-backed security bond. This is the bond that trades on Wall Street, that's bought as an investment, that is the biggest, one of the biggest components of the mortgage rate. How this works, this is the price of the bond. As the price goes up, there's an inverse, an inverse relationship um, for the price versus the rate or the interest rate. Here, let me make, make, make this make sense. As the price of the bond goes up, the, more, the rate of return or the mortgage rate goes down. Okay, so as the price goes down, mortgage rates go up. It's flip-flopped. That's what I mean by inverse relationship. So what's, what's been going on today, there's nothing. And you're going to see where the, the market closed. We were at three basis points up. That's good. Okay, so that, that's basically, what we're, here's what we ended up for the day. Uh, it's, it's zero. So here's where we've traded for the past quarter. All right. So it's been going up and down and up and down. It, st it stayed in a nice little pattern from here to here. But then all of a sudden we broke out. And the inauguration is one, one area where we broke out to the bad. Again, remember, when this goes down, this is the price of the bond, not the rate or the mortgage rate. As the price goes down, rates go up. So we, got, we saw a big spike the week of the inauguration because everybody thought there was going to be mayhem. There wasn't, and I didn't predict it. So we came all the way back up to where we, where I thought we should trade and where I, I'm still kind of saying we should be trading right now. What I mean by trading is where this number should be, okay? I'm saying we should be trading right in this region here. This is a 20, the 50-day and 25-day moving average. Let me get rid of the 200-day moving average, okay? So this will make a little more sense to you. So the numbers that we focus here are purple, black, and brown. It's the 100-day moving average, 50-day, and 25-day moving average. It's basically, it's, it's all over the board, okay? You can see the 25-day here, 50-day here, and the, where's the 100-day moving average? Right here, the purple, all right? We've been trading right around the 100-day uh, moving average for the past week or so. I'm saying we should be trading at the 25 to 50 day moving average, but we're right here. Why is that? Well, the stimulus package. That is one thing that's really kind of freaking out the bond market because the Fed's coming in and, and issuing, um, well, I won't say the Fed, the government is coming in issuing this, the new stimulus package. How did they fund that thing? Well, they fund it by selling bonds. However, the Federal Reserve stepped in and they're, they're, they're going to reiterate their verbiage this week that they're going to do everything they need to do to keep interest rates low. So my assumption is we should be trending right here where the 25 and 50 day moving average is. But right now we are down here. So I'm expecting about we're going to go from 103. If you see it here, we should be about to 103.5. So that's about a 50 basis point adjustment in uh, the price of the bond. That's gonna equate out to nothing to write home about, but you're probably gonna see about a one or a 2%, I don't think I can write two, about a 0.1 to 0.2 reduction in rate if everything comes uh, to fruition like I thought it was going to be. Okay, so that's, that's basically where the charting is. Okay, so that's that part of it. Intraday, what happened throughout the day? You're gonna see that this closed at zero, okay, zero. But look what happened all day long. We came out of the gate and dropped. We dropped them dramatically right here. And then we recovered all the way back up to here to end the day flat. So it's like a stock. The stock might open at 100, but throughout the day it went to 95, 110, and closed at 100. You could have made money in here. There's money left on the table here. So for clients that work with us, we time these markets so you can take advantage of this stuff. And again, this is a look at the look at the where the black number is over here. We went from 102.95 to 103.09.
Okay, a, a sizable, not a sizable difference, but we might be able to grab you a 0.1 lower in rate. Okay, so that's how all of this, this, these trendings work. The market news for today, there's really no news out today other than uh, later in the week, we're gonna have consumer price index, which uh, measures inflation, as well as uh, federal chairman Powell coming out on Wednesday and speaking. This number here, if it's hot, 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 can affect the markets dramatically, and also whatever Federal Chairman Powell says, and that'll come out on Wednesday, and I'll give you this, this information the minute it gets posted. I always post a, an update as soon as Federal Chairman Powell, within about 20 minutes of his speaking, I, I sent out an alert email, or uh, sorry, an alert YouTube, uh, telling you exactly what the Fed said and what their stances are. Economic calendar for the week is basically really non-existent. We have the consumer price index like we just uh, spoke about. This is all related to uh, inflation. I'll give you in a morning report, I'll let you know what the inflation is doing. And then later, or soon as Federal Chairman Powell speaks, I will let you know what he said and it will it be affecting mortgage rates at all. And nothing else really uh, for the rest of the week should uh, really affect us. Going on, I post this every day, what's going on with rates. 30-year uh, fixed rates on the conforming jumbo and FHA and VA levels. Right now, currently today, it's 2.85, 2.92, 2.88, and 2.46, respectively, on these numbers here. The one-day delta, seven-day delta, and where we were last year, the delta is change. So since Friday, it's Monday today, so one-day change means we had no change here. We had a 0.01 increase in rates on jumbo, 0.04 increase in rates on FHA and 0.01 uh, increase on VA rates as well. Seven days, these are the adjustments. But look here, if you, if you took out a loan last February or previously, your rates almost, I would almost bet to say to betcha that your rate, if you were to refinance right now, is 1% lower than where you are right now. I'm actually refinancing my son who just bought about eight months ago and we're dropping his rate a half a percent and he's saving about 180 bucks a month. So kudos to him on that. He actually kept persisting to me saying, dad, I think it's gonna work, I think it's gonna work. And I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna save you much money. I did the math and I was wrong. He's saving 150 bucks a month. So thanks, thanks for being persistent, buddy. Uh, that is it for today. I'm trying to make these short and sweet. I'm trying to once a week come out with a very broad, professionally done video, but I want to keep doing this on a daily basis, short, sweet, just to let you guys know if there's any big bumps in the market and also throughout the week, is there anything we should look forward to to be prepped for and be on the edge of our seats so if there is a big move in the market on how we can uh, protect you from that big adjustment. So you're like, Dan, how do I get in touch with you? Here's the people I want to reach out to me. If you're in the process of buying, building, refinancing, or want to just kick it around saying, you know, I, I, I think I could qualify for a mortgage. I just don't really know what direction to go. How do you get in touch with us? I'm going to show you that here in a second. What I do ask you to do is please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, click the bell, click everything you can to subscribe. What I'd like to do is give me some comments down below. What do you guys want? What is really on your mind that you'd be interested in me talking about? I will be very elaborate on that if you want me to be, or if you're like, Dan, just do this on a daily basis because I really want to know, or you're a mortgage advisor out there, or you're a realtor or so forth. I am saying this though, uh, starting this year, we're looking to expand our team. So if you're a mortgage professional out there and you're looking to make a move, um, I'd love to talk with you. Um, I'm looking for somewhat experienced people, but somebody who really wants to go to the next level, take their business to the next level, and I think we can help you here and on the Frio team. So how do you get in touch with us, guys? So you're gonna go to the web, and you're gonna go to therateupdate.com. You're gonna click it and scroll down to the bottom. This is our primary page. Scroll down to the bottom, it gives you my 800 number on how to contact us, 844-775-LOAN. That's 844-775-5626. How you reach me by email is D for Dan Frio at preferredrate.com or click here, 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 or here if you're looking to get a mortgage. This is if you're looking to purchase a home. 
If you're looking to refinance, if you want somebody to talk to you, just click that and we'll be on the phone with you probably within 15 minutes to answer any and all questions. Or if you're like, I just want to get the ball rolling, I want to apply now, click the apply now button. It'll take you right on your way. We do have new tabs up here. This is if you, uh, if you speak um, English or we have a new one if you speak Spanish. You can click that and it'll convert everything to Spanish for you. So that is it for today. Thank you so much. God bless. Stay warm. Stay healthy. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.